Good morning, traders, investors, master traders. Um, new morning update here. This is Greg from Master Trader. So the markets are down here a little bit. Um, nothing of any real significance. However, uh, yesterday the markets did come back uh, to be able to rally after the morning uh, selling that there was. And, it, you know, it at first appeared, which I mentioned to subscribers last night, uh, that the S&Ps, which we'll get to look at on the, the spiders, could possibly start a, a move higher, but they had to trade above yesterday's high. And it'll be a little more clear when we look at the spiders versus the futures, which we are here. So the futures have been chopping around up here near this resistance area and actually uh, acting fairly well considering, you know, the move here from the low, the gap up. And then this is this is bullish price action here. It's, it's erratic because of all the tails, uh, but it's going sideways in the upper part of a wide range bar, which is right there. Um, and then we got the, you know, it cleared it and now prices are pulling back and they've gotten a bit deeper into the range of the wide range bar. So our rule is that we want to see the bodies of these candles to stay in the upper half. And so far they're right on the edge of that. And today or this morning, which, you know, pre-market, they're starting to push down past that and testing yesterday's low, which you can see right here on the 24 hour intraday chart. So what's going to happen here? Well, a few things. It's either going to go sideways and chop around right here, another, you know, sideways day. It's going to break the low and, and start a little downtrend. Or maybe it comes right back up and we get a green candle with a bottoming tail bar. And if that was the case, I would be even more convinced that prices could push higher that on Friday. We shall see. Um, you know, so right now we're in a little range here. You know, we've got some weakness but overall you know you can see the trend you know it popped up into this little resistance here now it's coming back in towards support and you know, all of that means it's going sideways now the nasdaq you know which has been super strong as you know it, it gapped up continued higher little stall higher stall higher and now it's stall it's stalling again the trend is still up uh, we'll see what happens by the end of the week, but we're starting to get a little uh, narrow bodied bar here and a little narrow range bar, uh, which in it, all as it means is slowing momentum within an uptrend, which then suggests if it can break that low, it begins to pull back. But on the daily chart here, you know, we've got a little break higher, uh, stall, well, you know, hangman as it might be called. I'm not big into names of candlesticks. I just follow the individual messages and put them together in the context of what preceded it. So now we've got a little break of yesterday's low right here, which is pointing to possibly a test of this area down here. Um, but so we would have this somewhat bearish pattern starting a possible pullback within an uptrend. And that's the thing to keep in mind. So even when prices are extended as they are here they're extended from the support a little extended from these moving averages and such um one thing i want to point out there's a difference in being extended in that well you have a straight up move here and you got a straight up move here and then you get a little stall and then you get a little stall and then you get a little stall and then, so it's not as if it's just you know up 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 i'm gonna just you know, straight up like this. This is more of an extended or extension that has more of a concern. And the reason, you know, you could get more bullish, you know, by the time you got over here was that this strongly suggested a pullback possibly toward the 20. Um, and it could have been deeper. That's just a reference point that many follow but it went sideways and had this correction through time. And then, well, it was sloppy, you know, kind of wide instead of tight correction, which we like. And if you look here, this is more of a tight one. This is more of a wider sloppy one. And then now we've got this run up, but it's not, you can see the difference here? You know, each bar starting with a prior one ended and pushing higher continuously and closing near the high versus up, a little rest, up rest, up rest, up. Not really a rest. This bar right here, you know, and now and this could possibly be a rest. Um, so it's a, it's a somewhat more, 
control, a little less excited. Nonetheless, it certainly looks like a pattern that should pull back. Oil bouncing off of a deep oversold condition, giant bottoming tail bar, and it is in the support area there. Keep an eye on these bonds. Um, that's, a, that's the Dow here. That's pretty much doing the same, a little bit more erratic than uh, the S&Ps. See the bonds here. Uh, you know, pulling back in a, again here. And then they're in this area of support. Now, if this is to turn up, that's going to put some pressure on the market. Um, so I would keep an eye on that. And, you know, see TLT. You know, I mentioned a couple of days ago, keep an eye on the 120 level for a possible turn. Um, I'll just throw this chart over here. You know, spiders versus the uh, the TLT there. You know, it's not it's not a extremely tight inverse relationship, but it's one worth keeping an eye on. So as the bonds have pulled back here, S and P's have gone sideways. So they're showing some strength against that. Now, here's yesterday's close. It's not a 24-hour chart like the futures are, uh, but we had this red bar being ignored. And you know, so we got a day that closed near the high after that red bar. So we've had this stall. It, it's got to get through the resistance, of course. So right now, let's just move this out of the way. Right now it's trading lower. Let's get the spiders here. It's trading lower, but it hasn't broken any support, as you can see. So does, does it survive this, this little morning selling which uh, and, and pop right back up again? And if it can regain this area, well, then we see if it can go up. And maybe it's just going to be another sideways day here. Who knows, you know, at the beginning of the day, what the end of the day is going to look like. You know, we formulate a plan and then we see how that all shakes out and what it looks like at the end of the day. And then we continue with. The, the plan or we update the plan. That's that's what we do. Um, so, you know, maybe it waits till m tomorrow. We get another uh, day here and waiting till some more economic news tomorrow. And then we see whether, you know, it's either up or down. But overall, you can see, you know, the pattern as I explained, the consolidation, this consolidation at resistance. Overall, it's still, um, you know, acting bullishly. You know, let's take a look at, you know, the internet stocks. We thought we were going to get a pullback in them yesterday. This was a red candle in the middle of the day, but, you know, markets came back in the latter part of the day. And we're, going to, we're keeping an eye on financials. Can they get out of this little range here? Um, J.P. Morgan was looking interesting, um, somewhat interesting, that it could, you know, maybe lead on that. So our little stock here I mentioned a few days ago, cool, very thinly traded. Just be aware of that. But it's, you know, coming off of the 50 MA here, you got the daily buy setup or the weekly buy setup right there. So if it's of interest to you, but do realize you see these little dots. <laughs> it, it, it's a little thin. This is a 30 minute chart. And so it's a little thin there. Um, what's moving here? Pre-market. Uh, you all know Snap got it neck snapped. <laughs> down near 17 uh, after the close and 1788-ish. Um, could, you know, it's a, that's a big gap. What is that, 22%, uh, just over 22% gap down there. So and it was down just a titch further last night. Uh, maybe a gap play there. Um, Macy's, I'm getting, that was trying to hold it there, couldn't do it. Just taking a look at what else is moving here, pre-market. Well, Yelp got yapped, so that's retracing a little bit. And what else of any? Uh, Merck is up a bit. Uh, is it clearing those highs? 66-ish. That might be worth a gap trade. Well, one day go in a lot more detail as to what is the criteria for a great gap trade and a mediocre gap trade and a just a stink one. Uh, dry ships. Whoa, what's up with that? What is that? Say? Oh, change. Is that right? Where's it trading? I'm just going to look all over the place. Is that 24 hour? Hold on. It is. I don't know. 
Okay, so I don't see anything else of real interest here at the moment. I am NX. Well, that's one it could be. Anyway, guys, I hope that I hope that helps. We maybe do, maybe I'll do an update after the close today, if not, definitely tomorrow. But hope that helps you with some some guidance as to uh, planning your day. This is one that we like for lower. We have a option spread on this one, looking for it to come in a little bit. And Twitter doing nothing here. All right, guys, have a great trading day. If you have any questions, Greg at mastertrader.com.